Welcome back, Warriors. This is a new series. Welcome. Welcome to this series, guys. This is a new thing. I don't know what I'm going to be calling it, but uh, but I was inspired by Arumba's schizophrenic, so schizophrenic sovereignty, but this is not what that is. Okay, we're going to be doing something different. What I wanted to do is, I like the idea of playing as a random nation, but I want to completely randomize the whole world, and we're going to stick with that nation. We're going to form some goals based on what nation we get. Okay, so what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to just jump right into it here because I've tried to record this video a couple of times already <laughs> and failed. Um, but what we're going to be doing first is we choose a random nation. The only rule is it cannot be in the new world. Boom. Choose. We got Sweden. Okay, so we've got Sweden. We take the capital province, which is Stockholm. And then what we do is we go and we see the province and ta the tax province, uh, province tax and manpower. First, we go to normal so it normalizes here and then we randomize it okay next we look at that now see look it's eh, it's pretty decent all right and next we go to random setup okay random setup with random dynamic na or dynamic random nations and then we choose a custom nation all right we make this and then we just don't choose, we don't modify anything about it. We're gonna randomize the new world. Okay, I forgot to do that the, the past couple of times. Um, we're gonna randomize the new world, and then I'll show you what we're gonna do next. It's gonna be very cool. I like this idea. I really, really like this idea. We do not get a chance to choose our starting position. We don't get a chance to choose our starting development, our ideas, uh, our starting ruler, our religion, anything. So, uh, we're going to be completely going into this blind, and I, I've been playing a, a little bit of EU4 lately in the form of Imperium Universalis because I'm excited for Imperator Rome, but other than that, I have not really been playing this game a lot, and I have over 3,400 3, hours, I don't know, something like 3,400 hours in this game, and I want to find more ways to spice it up, so I want to find... I want to, uh, like, kind of create a new challenge for myself. So it looks like it's going to be finished generating this random new world. We're going to try not to look at it, and we're going to try to participate in the new world as well. Um, hopefully we'll be able to. Okay, here we go. And we click play, normal mode, okay, because we're going to tag switch. And we're going to, what we're going to do is we, we load up the game, okay, initializing game, boom. And then what we do is we go into debug mode, we... We uncover the Terra Incognita and we tag switch to whichever tag is controlling the Stockholm Sweden. And it might be a new Sweden tag, alright? So, I mean, it might it might be another Sweden. It might be a little city-state of just Stockholm. We have no idea, but we're going to try and make it work regardless of what it is. If it does not work, then we'll have to just randomize our nation again. <laughs> That's what we're going to have to do. Alright, so it's, first of all, TI, we're going to uncover the Terra Incognita. We have all of these random nations, guys. We've got Tibet over here, and we've got Ostergotland. Okay, that's going to be a tough one, because Norway is uh, breathing down our necks. But uh, it's debug mode. All right, tag. V-I-J. That's Fitchy Anagar. Oh, nice flag. Okay. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Guys, we got the Terra Incognita once again. This is our starting position. So, is there anyone that would accept an alliance? Let's see what we could do here. Um, we've got a couple of people that would accept an alliance. It looks like Jutland is probably the best idea right now. Let's see what kind of development do they have. Eight to oh, 27, they got this one. That's their capital. Oh, they got a 20 here too. They're hostile toward us. Guys, this is not going to be good. I do not know how big their army is exactly, but I am afraid of them. Jutland is not friendly toward me, but they would barely accept an alliance, so let's go ahead and do that. Um, it looks like our rivals are probably already set. Yeah, it looks like Bothnia, Gotland, and Balticum. Ooh, Balticum? Why did I rival them? Ugh. Alright, let's take a look at our other position. Uh, our traditions. We've got... Um, reduced inflation cost and institution em uh, embracement cost. <laughs> okay. We've got uh, plus two tons to true faith. We got some global settlement increase. That's going to be useful if we participate in the random new world. We've got advisor costs. We've got prestige from naval battles. 
Missionary strength. State maintenance is, maintenance is going to be useful. National tax modifier. All right, and lastly, we get some reinforced speed. Okay, and we got the generic missions as well. Um, okay, so what else do we have? Um, is, do we have, I don't think we have the possibility to form, to form, uh, uh, what's it called? Oh, distance between borders, that's not good. Scandinavia, I don't, I don't think we have the possibility to, to do that, do we? Right, we have three, we have three diplomats, okay. Um, let's go ahead and put one on threatening countries, and he's gonna go and do something there. Take a look at our army, our economy. We're actually losing money. Um, we've got some light ships here, and we're gonna go ahead and protect trade um, in the Baltic Sea, I suppose, because we're in, we exist entirely in the Baltic Sea. Of course, we do not get this single province that produces a crap ton of copper. Dang it, man! But uh, looks like our merchants merchants are in Krakow and Novgorod. Okay, that makes sense. They're just both transferring to the Baltic Sea. Sounds good. We've got some galleys and transports. They're not going to help us at all. What about our starting ruler? What are we doing here? We've got a 131. Not the best. What do we have here? He's a 126. He's also got two two quite good uh, traits here. Um, probably my best idea is to focus military. We can't really afford to hire an advisor right now, but we'll see what we can do. Um, can we fabricate a claim? There are some pretender rebels here. It's kind of funny because it just starts the game with them. Um, we can build a spy network. Okay, we're going to try and build a spy network. We're going to see if we can potentially kill this guy because this guy... He's allied with Aland, Aland, and Bothnia. Oh, Bothnia. Well, Bothnia is rival to me. Dang it, man. Uh, what about... Oh, they're rivaled too. What are their top great? What are the great powers? Norway is not on here, so that's good. Langzong, is, which we can't see, is definitely the number one great power. The number two great power is Poteau. We definitely want to see if we can get in good with them. Guaranteeing the independence of Flanders. All right, we got some. We got like Wales domination of Wales. Okay, Germion. Crap, where are they? I'm not familiar with Europe, guys. I'm just not. Oh, well, that's in Turkey. All right. It says that they're in Europe. Within the game's terms, they're in Europe. Looks like we're actually going to have some some Greek uh, presence here in this game. We have um, Naxos. We've got Morea. We've got Thrace. We've got... Uh, oh, yeah. Naxos com uh, controls that. Naxos controls roads as well, so very cool. Uh, we're going to exit uh, uh, debug mode. All right. Let's uh, up the speed a little bit. <clears throat> we cannot fabricate a claim on Pom Pomerelian. We cannot um, cannot fabricate a claim on there. We got a royal marriage offer from Jutland. Very cool. Anyone else that we can form an alliance with? We got to make sure that we form an alliance with with some worthy countries here. That probably is going to be a good one there. City states I don't really care about too much. But it looks like that's the best option there. The best option that we have access to. But we have to be careful, though, because are these guys rivaled to each other? Oh, friendly. They're friendly. Actually, these guys are not that great. It's only four and three development. Okay, that's really not that good. Um, well, who else? I want to see what their development is. We've got Hanover. Oh, yeah. I used to have a student. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, that's too developed. Oh, that's just, this is abysmal, guys. This is really abysmal. It looks like this turns out this is our best choice. It looks like it. We've got two city states over here that would ally us. We have, okay, and Hamburg as well. Three developments, seven development. Hamburg is at four. Ugh. This is so bad. Might as well get a guy with two provinces, right? I mean, I suppose. Just, I'll just get an alliance with that guy. Just, yeah, just do it. Okay, we got an alliance. <clears throat> this is gonna be tough, guys. It's gonna be a very, very tough thing. Looks like Ulland. Oh, they're only allied with Gotland. Actually, you know what? It's better to build a spy network here. Build a spy network in both. 
And how much development does he have? He only three, and Gotland has... 25! So we definitely want to claim there. We're gonna see if we can make this work, guys. This is, uh, this is gonna be potentially very, very difficult. Where's our, um... Monster Gotland. Yeah, here we go. That's, that's our capital. It's only three development. We got a couple of valuable provinces, and of course they just border Norway. Those are the ones we're going to lose first. Of course, all of our provinces border Norway, to be fair, but... Yeah, those are going to be very difficult to defend here. Uh, okay, so, let's see, we cannot hire an advisor unless we want to go into debt. Uh, we could get a 203 air. No! No! I don't want a 203 air. Dude, give me a different one. Give me a better chance. We could, we could do one that sort of starts to pay for himself. We could do that. Ugh, I just don't know what to do. We're Swedish. Swedish. We have these Nor Norwegian city-states here. We get the capital of that, which is 20 development. This, Oplanda, Opland, Oslandet. This, this is uh, 8 development. Not the same as our capital. We might want to do some development, guys. We might want to do some. It might be very beneficial to us, because uh, this is just going to allow us to build an extra building. So is this. We don't have any kind of... Uh, I don't think we have any centers of trade, do we? Yeah, centers of trade are like the Daugava estuary, the Neiman estuary. We have Danzig as a center of trade. Yeah, we don't have any centers of trade. I think it might be very good to just develop our our provinces here. Let's go where it would uh, be the most helpful. Um, base production is too. Oh wait, hmm? that's exploit development. No, I don't want that. Okay, we've got. This one is the greatest bang for your buck here. We've got that. And we're going to do a couple of them on there, and then we've, we're going to change this thing. Boom. Okay, so we've done a little bit of development. One on Stockholm, one on Bergslagen. Oh, no, no, we didn't do that. We didn't do Bergslagen. What did we do? This one, I think. Yeah, we did this one, Narkia. I'm going to be pronouncing these names very badly, guys. But I'm very excited to see the rest of the world. I'm really excited to hopefully be able to to uh, to get there. To hopefully maybe participate. Oh, I thought I thought I had to spend admin power to like make it a claim. I was like, what the frick? Okay, so we got a claim there. We got a claim on Gotland, and that's a very very valuable province. We might be able to take that in a war. We might not actually have to take on Bothnia. We could just take on Ulland. And we would be bordering Bothnia, but... Uh, let's see, who are they ra rivaling? Bothnia hates us. Jutland. And Volhynia. And... They would never form an alliance with me, so... Good luck, you freckers. Alright. We've got a Muslim horde here. We've got a Christian... This is a feudal monarchy, so we don't have any... Looks like we do not have any Christian hordes here. Oh, interesting, that. Okay. Alright, very cool. Um, looks like their their army is actually half of ours, so once we get a claim on Uland, then we can declare war on them. And Gotland has no army, so can we just, like, move our navy into here? Yeah, we can actually see this, and they, they don't have any army, so... Wait a second. That's also owned by Gotland. Which means they don't under they don't control 100% of the provinces. Which means it's gonna actually take a while for them to break the country. Let's let's oh, freaking so abysmal! Look at that! Look at our generals, dude. It's so bad. Oh, horrible generals. Okay, but they have no army, and um, and so that's definitely gonna be beneficial. Let's see. I cut just probably one more month. It looks like. Yeah, it looks like one more month we'll be able to declare war on Ulland, and they only have three development. We're going to try to take this in as a secondary participant in the war. We're getting a lot of aggressive expansion, but I think it's worth it to take on some of that early on. 
just to prove our power to the world. Then we could start fabricating claims on this other stuff. Perhaps Danzig? It's in her tray, right? Getting some more money here. More money than before, because we did some development. All right, so let's fabri fabricate claim here. Let's do that, and then... Oh gosh, I'm so freaking terrified of these guys. Dude, Norway... Who are they fabricating? The Palatinate? Why? Are they the Holy Roman Emperor? Yes. Dude, why? Dude, do some somebody else. Keep, I'll keep the guy there. I'll keep the diplomat uh, fabricating or doing the spy network. Alright, so we've got that, guys. We're gonna go with this. This might be the very end of the campaign. We're gonna try. <laughs> See how we do. Um, they got five galleys. We have four galleys. They have a better navy than we do. Five, five and three. We got four and six. We have more transports, but... Alright, here we go, guys. Here we go. <clears throat> oh, turns out they do have an army. It's just in uh, Bornholm. But that's fine. I don't care. If we occupy their capital, I mean, there's there's no way they can make it out of here. Why? Okay, so they've got uh, they've got a small. They don't have any maneuver on their general, but they do have more shock than we do. So it's good that this guy has one shock. The fire phase is just useless right now. They're bringing their navy here. Let's bring in our light ships. They have two light ships. Oh, well, there's Gotland's navy. Dang it, man! What are we gonna do? <laughs> What are we gonna do? Okay. Stay calm. Let's stay calm. We got three galleys. We need to retreat. Just, we, we can't win this. They even have... Look at this. They have an admiral. Oh, why didn't I think of an admiral? We lost a galley. Let's retreat from here. They might destroy these ships, guys. They might. When can I retreat from this? 7th of June? This might have to be a very long and drawn-out war. It might have to be. It just might have to be. Yeah, how the frick did they gain so many ships? Oh, that's eight. That's that's nine ships from Ulland and eight. They have seventeen. They have seventeen combined ships. So I'm going to add some galleys here. That's all I can do, really. I think I'm gonna. <laughs> well, <laughs> we're low on sailors. So we don't have any sailors. All right. Are they going to potentially blockade me? If they blockade me, then that's okay. They are they if they blockade like my capital and stuff. That's okay as long as I can march my troops over there. What is this this gradual movement? I don't like this gradual movement. But they are moving some troops here. It looks like Gotland is moving their troops. And I can potentially stack wipe him. He's going to Kalmar. So we're going to go there. We're going to see if we can make it there. Looks like... No? Okay. Alright, fine. But we are building two galleys. It's just going to take a freaking really long time to build. I hate base shipbuilding times. And it looks like they're not going to make it across in time, which means we will be able to do battle with them. Let's see. Boom, it's in the farmlands, not crossing a river, anything. We don't get any penalties. Uh, looks like we have more morale, same tactics, same discipline. They have the better general, but in the shock phase, we rolled a six to their three, two to their zero. Boom, stack white. Good. All right, so small victories. Guys, we got to take the small victories because we're not going to get a lot of victories. It's going to be a while before we get a big victory. <laughs> we got to be very careful. Norway's being attacked. Oh. They're at war with all three of those city-states. And they're losing. Norwegian conquest of Bergen House. Why did they declare war for a... Three development province? But they could just fabricate a claim on this! They need a 20 development province. I'm not really sure why they did that, but at least they're at war, which means they're distracted. And that's totally okay with me, so... We've gotta wait. They're just blockading us right now. We just gotta wait. I mean, that's all we can do, really. I'm willing to spend a little bit of uh, diplomatic power to reduce war exhaustion, should it come to that, but... Um... Okay. We got reinforcement here. That's that's taking up the majority of our stuff here. We got an actual fort. 
Okay. It, it actually might be beneficial to move our capital here, or perhaps to Stockholm. Stockholm is in the plains, that's why I say that, because it's cheaper to develop that. It's not too, too expensive to develop woods, but... Forest terrain represents the areas of conifer forest with high density of trees and underbrush. Woods uh, represents areas of broadleaf forest with high density of trees and underbrush. 